Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I thought I would share with you how I've been removing my manicure at home. And this is kind of like a review of uh, like three items in one. Uh, for my manicure itself though, I used two methods, dipping powder and gel. I combined those two. In a later video, I'm going to show you how I do it. So I've been using my nail drill to remove like the top layers of my manicure. That I do have the review for this one off of Amazon. I've been using this hands down lint free nail wipes. I got them at Sally supply they were i think they were pretty affordable you get the instructions in the back and this kind of like have like a pattern to them i really like it i think it's really nice and cute and it has like holes at the beginning i thought that the holes went all the way through but turns out it's not like that at all they have kind of like plastic in there kind of like shiny thing hopefully you can see with the close-up so yeah i'm gonna be cutting this in halves so one of this is like for two nails because to me one of this is like too much then i have been using this nail foils and that i got at sally beauty supply as well they are from the brand all season professional and yeah they are to remove gel polish you get the instructions in the back and they were kind of like in the more expensive side i feel like but i want to try them anyways i think they look nice you get a hundred of these ones and they have kind of like a piece of paper or some kind of protection in between them and i like the idea i think it's a good um like detail and to remove my manicures i've used a foil before like i cut them but i mean it's easier and handier when they're cut it for you this ones and they felt like thicker i'm going to be using this non-acetone by cutex or cutex care i bought this at walmart removes uv gel and what saw me is that it says that it's ultra caring so yeah i removed my manicures with like acetone and it's like you feel like your skin is burning it's awful now it gets kind of dark because i think my foils were sealing all the light but yeah i'm gonna be grabbing one of those wipes folding that in half and then just applying my known as a tone nail port remover wrapping my foil around my fingers and i'm gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes kind of like depends how thick your manicure is I'm gonna remove my foil. With this non-acetone remover, it was like super easy to remove my manicure. I just didn't have to go with a file or anything like after that. And I think what helped a lot to just wanna wait for 20 minutes is that I was using a non-aggressive like uh, remover. Before I used to use acetone and I wanted to remove the whole thing five minutes after I applied it. You don't have to use the same non-acetone that I used. Just use something that is gonna be soft in your skin. One thing that I um, noticed is that the foils are pretty strong. Again, I used to do this with like foil from the kitchen. Like I would just remove my manicure and they would break. Maybe it was like the foil that I was using, I don't know. But this ones, if you remove them carefully and carefully just bring them into their shape, they just don't break. So I'm going to be reusing this ones. I think they're going to last for another removal. Probably not more than two times though. These three items worked wonders to remove my manicure. I didn't have an issue after like I usually do. But yeah, I really like this and I think all of these are worth it. But again, the more time you wait, the easier your manicure will come off. Hopefully this was helpful for you and you liked it. If you did, let me know what you think of this one and share this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more nail care stuff and reviews that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.